Once Upon a Time in Philadelphia. Yes, YouTube, that's my title. For all my new subscribers who don't know me, here's a little rundown. Yes, I'm a bit of a chameleon. 1966 was the year. That's when this guy was born. Lived in Philly for a few years in my youth. Moved to the suburbs. Played all the sports as a, little, as a, as a child. You know, Little League, baseball, football, hockey. Always, always had a flair for music. Kiss was like the best band ever. Okay? And then, you know, as you grow older, you appreciate the Stones, the Beatles, the Beatles. John Lennon. December 8th, 1980. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. When any, anytime somebody asks me, when did you start playing guitar? I always say December 9th, 1980. Why? Because he was killed on the 8th and went out and got a guitar the next day. Wasn't very good at the guitar though, so I started playing the bass. So with that being said, most of you are here because of knives. And I believe my first knife was the Buck 110. That's, I've had it five or six times through, through the last, you know, 40 some years. Then 1982, Rambo First Blood. I had to have that knife. I got it eventually, some sort of a knockoff and uh, another knife that I've had probably four or five or six times. I've either had it stolen, lost, broken, trade it or confiscate it <laughs> but um now they're all all the rambo collection with the exception of one they're here in a nice safe place i don't use them they're going to be in a shadow box soon once i'm ready okay why are we here today i want to show you two knives okay these knives are incredible all right they're by ken warner and i have been Wanting to do a review on these, but it's just so darn cold out. And I uh, hear the sniffle still. But um, I'm going to go outside for just about five minutes just to do a little demonstration. What they are is Ken Warner Big Country Knives. One is called the Camper, and one is called the Worker. K-A-M-P-R and W-O-R-K-R. All right? Here's a nice little close-up of the two. 13 inches overall. 3 16th thickness. About seven and a half inch blade. Crate and handle. I don't know much about the tank, but in this uh, lanyard hole, I could see see a little steel. You know, so what's what's that? A rat tail? So we're going we're gonna to go outside with these, and uh, just for paper sharpness, here's one. Look at that. That is, that's the camper, okay? Here is the worker. I'm not done telling you my knife story yet. I'm saving that to the end of the video because... My little knife history has a lot to do with my shout out, so bear with me. Here's the worker. This is factory sharpness, okay? We're gonna go closer. Sorry about the snipples, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like Stallone, you know, every morning in Rocky before he uh, <laughs> begins his workout. You know what I'm talking about? That, <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm trying to, uh, you know, avoid that right now but anyway the sheaths the sheaths okay very thin belt loop on both high quality leather sheaths yes but very thin if your belt loop is bigger than an inch forget it it ain't getting in there so luckily i have a shoulder harness for these we're going to go outside and i'm going to show you in the meantime take 30 seconds of your life and watch this little clip. It's, a, it's an older clip of uh, me doing a song in Nashville. It's only 15 to 20 seconds, just a clip. And uh, I'll see you soon. 
Okay, welcome back, everybody. A couple things I left out. These knives, notice I only have this one in my hands right now. All right, this is the Camper. K-A-M-P-R, the Big Country Camper. Again, 3 16 thick, about a seven and a half inch blade. It's some sort of a rat tail. I could feel the, feel like that tang inside there. Uh, Craton handle. And they are made in Seiki, Japan. S-E-K-I. Seikei, Seikai, Japan. So however you pronounce S-E-K-I. Now they both say it. Again, this is the camper, and this guy up here that I have shoulder harnessed. You guys see that? This is the worker. So I'm telling you, those belt loops, they're pretty thin. So I just use this homemade device here. I think I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. So, let's see. Let's put this sheath over here. Let's not get it all wet. And uh, let's just do a little testing with them both. Seiki, Japan. Okay, see this hose here? This is a pretty thick hose, all right? So I'm gonna try to just chop this using the chopper chair out the way. It's like frozen to the ground. There we go. Right. You can get that. I hope you guys can get that. Again, they're pretty thick. Let's try the camper. All right. Does the trick. Back to the camper. This, uh, this branch is frozen. <laughs> All right. Factory sharp. All right. Just trying to, uh, do a little damage. That's the camper. Try the worker. Just like doing push. Oh boy. It's really going through like nothing. This branch is like very, very cold. See, I was trying to decide which one do I want, the camper or the worker. If I had to choose one, I might take the worker. Something's guiding me in that direction. But I like them both. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I got cut off there for a second. Still with me? All right. Sorry about that. Worst video ever. All right, let's do a little water test. Camper first. All right, let's not get wet. It's been a while. It has been a while. All right. That's the camper. 
Now let's uh, try the worker. Not sure which one I just cut. Without even that much aggression, it went through like nothing. Good idea to be out here whilst I'm sick. <laughs> just getting over. It's all right. All right, let's check out the blade. After all that damage, No dings, no dings, nothing. I am gonna clean these up, place them back nicely, and uh, highly recommend. All right, any questions, comment, let me know. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the shout out. This is a special shout out. The rules are, every video, I'm gonna pick some names out of a hat. And uh, I'm gonna do one or two per video. But today I'm not gonna pick out of a hat. I have been collecting knives since basically the first Rambo movie, 1982. Knife here, a knife there. It picked up more when I got out of the Navy and uh, dropped off for a while. And then the last decade, that's when they really increased. So about a year ago, I check out this video by Donnie B All Day. I'm gonna leave the link. Guys, I know some of my, you know, longtime followers this past year, you know I talk about Donnie B All Day. For my new subscribers that never heard of him, he just doesn't do knives, but that's what got me into doing these videos. Donnie B. All Day. He's a decorated veteran. He is a, just a dear friend now, you know? I met him on here. He is truly family. And I highly recommend you guys to go over his channel. Tell him Cowboy Seabop sent you. And uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. He's my inspiration. He got me started on this. The link I'm gonna show you, when I watched that for the first time, that's when I said, all right, I gotta start doing videos. So with his guidance, you know, I started. And, you know, they weren't the best videos last year, but they get better as they go, okay? Uh, he's definitely an inspiration. He even does awesome cooking, you know, channels. Uh, a cooking food channel, you know, you know, occasional video here and there. Uh, just really quick, simple meals that you can make, you know. And um, I've, I've tried it, and, uh, you know, he's right on. So, Donnie B. All Day, thank you so much. You're a true brother, and um, I appreciate everything you've done for me. You know, and uh, guys, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So, check out the link. Tell him I sent you. And uh, he's a good guy. You won't regret it. Uh, what a character. All right. Fellow veteran. My man. And uh, just an all-around great guy. And um, I think that's it. I am hoping to do another video in a week or so. Until then, you guys stay safe as always. And um, check out these uh, knives by Ken Warner, the camper, and the worker. Seiki Japan, Aussie 8 Steel. And most important, check out Donnie B all day. All right, that's about it. Again, be careful, everybody, and I'll see y'all soon.